Howdy folks and welcome back to Conan Exiles. Today we're going to take a look at the new die system, the coloring system. So let me get my hot back on here and now we go. First thing you need is a bunch of uh, crystal. This stuff. You craft that into glass by just putting it in a furnace. So we're going to take all of this. That should be fine. Let's let the rest craft. Then you're going to need a blacksmith. And you're going to need to craft one of uh, these. Takes 11 iron bars. Goes fairly quick. Oh yeah, we have already one prepared here. Good thing, huh? So now we're going to take the glass and the... What's it called? Yeah, the glass flask mold. The, the bottle crafter. <laughs> and we're going to make some, some, some glass bottles. I think... Is that in here? You put that in here, and as you can see, now we are making glass flasks. Three per, three glass per one glass flask. I've already prepared ten. I'm gonna wait for some more here. Are we, are we getting any? Oh no, we're not, because reasons. Mm -hmm. That's quicker. Alright, I let these craft up and then we'll talk about all of this lovely stuff, which we actually can do right now, uh, while that's crafting. So first things first, where, where do you get these and what are these? Well, we have nine different colors in the game so far, nine colors that people know of. Um, the first one is blue. For blue you need a true indigo, which is this. Now the wiki says you get that in bushes in tree-shaded grassy areas. That's complete crap. <laughs> you don't. If you want to know where to get that, up here, the double oasis. In that area, actually up here, not around, up here, in that area, you get uh, true indigo. Looks like... Well, the bush looks exactly like that. It's a brown bush with um, blue little berries on there. It's like waist high. So you can't miss that. It's, it's relatively easy to find. Um, good thing about... Well, the, the weird thing about that is once you harvest this bush, it stays. It, it's not going away like when you ha harvest plant fiber, you know, the bush breaks. This just stays. You don't know if you've harvested it. The berries don't go away or anything. It's a little bit weird. Yeah, next color is brown. For brown you just need seeds, which you get pretty much anywhere. Uh, cyan is glowing goop. Not poop, goop. Seriously, guys. Glowing goop is a bush that can be found underwater. Again, up here. That's why I found it. I've been, I mean, we're here, right? I've been up here, haven't found anything. I went all the way around here. Went all the way over here. Looked at all these lovely areas, you know, tree shaded bush areas, nothing. I've been over here in the desert, fought countless amounts of spiders and everything. I've been over here, and finally up here, I found it. So, yeah, <laughs> that seems to be the place to go when you look for something. Uh, green, green is plant fiber. It's relatively easy to find, right? Plant fiber. Then we have gray, for that you need a gray flower lupine. Which is this. Now it says in the wiki, bushes high on mountains and mesas. Honestly, that's the understatement of the century. High on mountains and mesas. You know where you find that? There. Up there. That's high on mountains and mesas. You find that in spots that there you can actually see it. Barely. Right? Where the, the center pike, center pike, center spike of the, the trident is pointing. That there. If you can see that, that's a bush. One, two. It's actually a third one around the corner. There's no way to get there. I mean, you can fly up there if you're an admin. <laughs> but other than that, um, I guess you would have to build a bridge system to get up there, like on that corner, and then hope that that stuff respawns. It's one of those plants that doesn't go away when you harvest it, so um, maybe that helps. I don't know. Uh, a little bit weird. Anyway, uh, next on the list is orange. Orange. You, for orange, you need these. Orange ficus or fucus? 
I don't know, coral. Looks like coral, it's coral. Uh, you find that in pretty much any river around the map. It's either the, well, the, the plants that ex look exactly like that, <laughs> or it's the plants that are these blue algae type of things, and there's another plant down there where you can get that. I uh, can't remember what that looks like. It doesn't really matter. You just, you know, hold E and swim through the water, and, well, the, the bottom ground of the river, and you get it for free. No problem. Then we have a purple. Purple is the false mandrake. It says you can find that at a green bush within stone ruins. No, again, that's, yeah. Stone ruins. Where are stone ruins? Well, down here in the spawn area, right? There's stone ruins, and there's the bridge that's a stone ruin. And you find stone ruins pretty much everywhere. This up here, this is where I found it. Here, right there. Um, I will put a screenshot of that plant on, on the video. Probably you see it right now and I'm just talking crap, but yeah, that's why I found it. This is what it looks like. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Uh, then we have red, which is these cochineal, cochineal, ladybug. Doesn't look like a ladybug. Looks more like scarabeus, dung beetle. I don't know. Um, these these are easy to find. Harvest a cactus, just any kind of cactus. Harvest that and you get these, no problem. And then there's yellow, and for that you need brimstone. There's also a darkening and a lightening liquid. For which you need bone or tar, respectively. Um, what you do is, you craft the color first, you craft the lightning and the darkening liquid, and then you put these two together, and um, it makes the darker or the lighter version of that color. So let's let's see if... There, jeez. Let's see if our flasks are ready. That's definitely quite some flasks we have there. Alright, that's fine. Um, ooh, switch you off. Sure, what do you do now? Well, obviously, when you have flasks, you do want to put water in, right? Relatively easy if you have a well or statue of refreshment. Uh, we do have more of these, which is great because I just emptied that one. <laughs> uh, more water, please. That worked. Please. Yeah, it's already empty. Need more! Need way more. I think we have one around the corner. Come on, run. Run! For the colors, for the water, for everything. Give me some more. Ow. Alright, that's empty. Don't ask me why this altar is floating. I, I have no idea. It's just the way it is. You have to live with it. I have to live with it. We all have to live with it. That's how it works. Then you come over here. There you go. Uh, you put those in there. It's not that many. We have nine colors, so we can make one of each. <laughs> I need more water. I'm gonna uh, take care of that off cam and uh, meet you right back once that is done. But for now, let me just show you how this works. Can I have some coal, please? Um, yeah, half is fine. Thank you. That works, right? I can put that in here. Ah, 25 minutes. That should be enough. All right, let's make yellow. You can see down here it makes a yellow. Takes a bit. Probably should have used one where we actually have a cook. Uh, enough. Yeah, let's let's leave that here for now. Um, don't need that. Want to put uh, that in there? And we're making orange. Uh, you. Come here. Go in here. Thank you. Uh, orange. Let's make green. It's a little bit more expensive. Most of the recipes require one, three, or five. This requires, as you just have seen, twenty. Come on, get going. E. Put a couple in there. Oh, that one, that one, that one. You just make green, yellow, orange, cyan, brown, up, 
Oh, it's, it's presumably dark outside. What was brown? Brown is the seeds, right? Yeah, those. Uh, you're making a gray. Perfect. That's you. Now we get cyan again. Wait a second. We have, yeah, we do have cyan. It's you, right? Glowing poop. Yeah, glowing poop. Now I say glowing poop. See what you did to me there? Red. That's my color right here. And last but not least, blue. There's no black. There's no white. They're working on it. That's all I know. Okay, let's switch that off. Now we do have all these lovely colors. We need to put them somewhere. I'm going to put that in there. Come on. Give them to me. That's our nine colors. Let's switch it back on. Make some dark colorant. Dark dye colorant. Darkening liquid. Attacks a little bit more, it seems. Yeah, three tar. Uh, let's make three of those. And then let's make some, some bone white. <laughs> some lightening liquid. Thank you. There you go. Light dye colorant. Hmm, which one do we brighten or lighten? I think we use the dark gray and try to make that, or well, the gray and try to make that dark gray to make it as black as possible. Wait a second. Let's take that out. I need, we have one more bottle. Let's see if we can fill up some more now. That would be really nice. And then we try to make white and black or as white and black as possible. That looks good. Oh yeah, where's the other one? There. I got like five or so out of that, that's good. Whoop. Uh, uh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there's ten more, thank you very much, you go here. Um, yeah, put that back in. And then I think for the grey, we put some more grey flower those in there. Uh, take these out. Otherwise it will start to, you know, work. <laughs> Don't want that right now. Um, nope, that's indigo. That's not what I want. That's what I want. Grey flower. And since we have three of each, I want to try that with uh, these as well. What else? Black, white, and red are my colors, so that's what I'm working on here. That gray. Much of a difference, huh? Well, I mean, it's only level two. I have three of that now. So let's get two more of this. And, boop, and off. Thank you. Let me put all the stuff away. <laughs> there we go. That looks good. So how do you how you do you darken? How do you lighten? Well, you take the water bottle back. Thank you. And then we're gonna put uh, these in here. And I'm gonna put one of those and one of those. Put it on. And it makes a light gray and a light red. And once that is done, also get a glass flask back because we use the colorant and you know decant it into the actual color. Two light gray. Really? Alright. Uh, seems like I put too much in there. Or well, it just makes two. Does it make two? It only make one light red. I'm getting confused. Anyway, I'm taking these back. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna put one more in here. And one more of this. Also, I take you back. Thank you. And I'm gonna put two of these in here. That didn't work. I clicked the wrong button. 
Weird. Anyway. Dark grey and a dark red. Nice. Well, the only downside currently is we only have one of each color. So we're not going to be able to color very much with it. That's you. Done. Thank you. Put the darkening in there. That's dark grey. That's the glass flask. So let's see what we have. We have that. Red. Red. Light red. Didn't we get a dark red just now? Huh? That's confusing. Light gray. Gray. Thank you. What happens if I do that? Nothing. Light gray and dark dye color on doesn't make regular gray. Interesting. So we have gray, we have a light gray, glass flask, there's my dark red, there's my dark gray, very good. Uh, yellow, orange, cyan, green, brown, purple, and blue, and that's just water. Put those in there. Alright, so what now? Uh, I think it's either you do this or you just say, use no. You go on the actual piece that you want to color and you press dye. Okay, I'm gonna start with the heavy pauldron. There you go, everything we have in our inventory that is a dye will be displayed here. It's very, very nice. And you have three different areas of this piece of armor that you can color. You just say that. And if you say original color, it reverts back and you get your dye back. It's very nice, right? So let's say. Oh wow, that, that's more pinkish, that's more flesh. Uh, that looks like I'm already dead. And that's too brownish. I like that. Alright, what's that area? That's that. See, you don't get a tooltip when you hover over it, but you see it down here, it says brown dye, so that's good. Orange. Yellow. Doesn't look too bad. This is almost black. This is almost white. But for the straps I like it, but down here I, I'd rather have something like that. Hmm. Orange is good. And this presumably is that? Oh, that's, that's all the metal parts. Yeah, make that gold. Thank you. So for that we need something else. Something that fits. Ooh, that doesn't fit. That that's a rainbow. That fits. I think. Yeah, let's do that. Safe. And that works. Perfect. Uh, let's see if we can dye this as well in some ways. That's that part. No. That's that part. No. That's the metal part. That's more copper-ish. See, we need yellow for that, definitely, if we want to make that look gold. That's weird. That's weird. That's, yeah, it's a dark gray, but it's not really a black, you noticed, right? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, need more red. <laughs> and this is what? It's that part. Yeah, I don't know. That's that's not the, the royal purple kind of thing. That's just a washed out, has been... was a carpet at some stage. <laughs> that could be done. Yeah, let's do that. That's not too bad. I like it. We get some, some, some sun. Yeah, there you go. And that's how the coloring system works. So there's nine colors, two uh, liquids for darkening and lightening. I've shown you how to make the glass flask mold, how to make the glass flasks, where to get all the stuff. I think that's it for today. You think so? Yeah, right? Wish you could color more than just the arm or like have tattoos or something. That would be really cool. Alright, that's it for today, folks. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe for more, leave a comment if you feel like it, don't forget to enjoy yourselves, and see you soon!